Wouldn't you like to make money without having to do anything? Sure, you could become a high school econ teacher, but that isn't cool. What is cool is mining Ethereum. First, you're going to need to set up a cryptocurrency wallet. I personally like Atomic Wallet because it doesn't ask you for your age, and I'm very insecure about that being a 17-year-old. To set up the wallet, all you need to do is download it, set up a passcode, and remember the 12-word code. Next, assuming you're using an NVIDIA graphics card above 4GB, you'll need to download CUDA. I am using Ubuntu, so I'll download the Ubuntu version, but there are also versions for Windows and Mac. I personally like Ubuntu because using Windows is a sign of defeat. It's also just like Shaq endorsing the general, the common idea being that someone is selling their soul for convenience. To install CUDA, copy the commands over to the terminal. The commands may take some time to finish, so to kill some time, I recommend watching the Rock Paper Scissors National Championship. It is the most intense video on YouTube that is out there. Now you'll need to download a mining program. I prefer Phoenix Miner because it doesn't actually steal any of my data for ransom, which is a very high honor for mining programs. You may also need to disable Google's security settings temporarily because Google flags all mining programs as malware. After downloading the file, create a folder called Phoenix to store the contents. Next, go to the file itself in the downloads folder and extract the contents of it to the Phoenix folder. After that, you will need to set up a mining pool. I personally prefer Ethermine because whenever they make a mistake, I make more money. You will need to create a text document to start the miner. Follow the template on the screen and replace the values indicated by a greater than or less than sign with the values from Ethermine. For instance, the SSL link would be us2.ethermine.org, assuming you're in the West, and the SSL port would be 5555. You can also replace the Ethereum address with the address from Atomic Wallet, the receiving address specifically. You can replace the name of the rig with whatever you want, but when you name the file itself, make sure it ends in at least a .sh in order to make it an executable bash file. To further automate the process, you can actually enter in CD and then the folder directory to skip having to go through all the folders in the terminal. Lastly, open the terminal and type in dot slash and then the name of the bash file, and then 